What up my fellow gamers? Thanks for tuning in to another exciting video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. So in this video, I'm going to focus mainly on the graphics card. Just mainly because I've already used the CPU and I've looked at the CPU intense games in a preview, previous video that I did. To be more specific, the ARC 8580 video. So definitely go watch that one, you know, if you're definitely curious to see how the CPU performs. But in this one, I'm going to focus more on the GPU intense games because I definitely want to take a closer look at what Intel's ARC A770 is capable of. So the hardware I'm using is the same CPU, which is the i5-12400F, the 6-core 12-thread processor, came out in 2022. And of course, the ARC A770 came out in the same year of 2022. Features 8 gigabytes of VRAM, you know, it's GDDR6. There is a 16 gigabyte version, but I just picked up the 8 because it was the cheaper one, to be honest. And uh, performance-wise, they're not gonna, there's no performance really, you know, other than just the VRAM. So, for uh, you know, we jump into the videos, I'm just gonna go over quickly the games that uh, you can play competitively with this GPU, and also the games that I played off camera, you know, just to show what this uh, card is capable of. And we're just gonna jump through them real quickly. So, you'll see on the screen there, you'll see Apex Legends. Low settings, 1080p, got 140 frames a second, which is, I would say, competitive. I mean, you definitely can be competitive. It's close enough to 144. And then, of course, in the second game, of course, uh, Dota 2, played at medium settings, 2160p, 4K, got 217.7 frames a second. So, it's definitely good. And then of course, good old GTA 5, just normal, low settings, 1440p, 2K, got 65.7 frames per second. Now, I will say of all the games that I played with the A770, GTA 5 was definitely the surprising one. I mean, for some reason, this hardware combination just was not able to handle GTA 5 at higher settings, which is was definitely surprising. Is PUBG, played at high settings, 4K, got 73.2 settings, so the, A the ARC A770 can definitely play PUBG at good settings. And then, if you're curious, well, is it competitive? Yes, this hardware is competitive, and so is the A770, because you can play PUBG low settings, 2K resolution, get 187.3 frames, so well above 144, so definitely more than playable. And then, of course, last but not least, good old Valorant, high settings, 2160p, 4K resolution, got 185 frames per second, so no surprises there. I mean, I'm starting to believe that Valorant made some GPU changes but it is still more cpu bound than gpu so i'm definitely going to keep it in the cpu intense category but uh, those are all the games i played off camera so i mean you can see just from those numbers that uh, this hardware combination is definitely more than capable but my quick thoughts on it of course is it the same performance as a RTX 3060, a 2060, um, you know, and it's just slightly below even like a 4060 as well. So it definitely falls in that range. I mean, it's, it's not going to play any better than that, which which is a bit disappointing. I mean, the A770 is supposed to be Intel's flagship graphics card and the fact that it performs at like 2060, 3060, 4060 level, it's a bit disappointing, you know? I mean, and price-wise, eh, it, it's okay price, but I mean, it really should be cheaper than what it is. It's okay, so 
before we get to the video segments, of course, just remember to like and su subscribe to the channel. Remember to visit all my links in the descriptions down below. Go to my Etsy store. Of course, go to my PayPal link. Send a few bucks my way. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm just thankful for every view I get, every share, you know, and just everyone that, that continues to watch my channels, you know, I mean, I just hope one day it can become a big channel and get thousands of views, so, alright, so without much further delay, let's get to those videos. What up my fellow gamers? So in this one I'm playing good old Fortnite. I'll be using the i5-12400F with the Intel Arc A770. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings. See what I'm playing with here. Full screen, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. And I'm playing on high settings. Now the reason why it says custom, I'll show you here in a second why. Because whenever you go to high settings, it always wants to turn the lumen and nanite on. And of course we want to turn that off. But also I'm turning the view distance and effects to epic. So that's the other reason why it uh, says custom. But for the most part, I mean, these are high settings. That's what I'm playing with here. So roll with that. It's all right. So let's go ahead and just ready up. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the Intel Arc A770. Hey there everyone, my fellow gamers. So in this one I'm playing CSGO 2. Now I'll be using the Intel Arc A770 with the Intel i5 12400F. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings and of course see what I'm playing with here. So just go to video. So playing at full screen 2160p 4K resolution. Then under advanced video tab now it says custom but I mean I'm playing at low settings and of course no FSR or DLSS or anything like that so in fact I'll show you kind of why it does that like changes the no signal and then you'll see it actually turns on FSR for close to that so that's why it says normal but these are the lowest settings you can get in CSGO 2, so, alright, so now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and hit the play button, hit the go button, and yeah, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. Hey there my fellow gamer. So in this one, I'm gonna be playing Naraka Playpoint. I'll be using the Intel i5 12400F paired up with the Intel Arc A770. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So playing at full screen, 2160p, 4K resolution, and of course, V-Sync's off because we want to see how many frames per second we can get. And in Narica, graphics enhancement is the tab where you can do DLSS, FSR. But this time around, I'm playing without it, you know, just to see 
what's the highest graphics level we can play without frame rate assistant and we're playing on low settings so this is what low settings look like so the thing with narica is there's definitely a lot of customization you can do so that's what the uh, graphics look like there so all right that out of the way let's go ahead and jump into a quick solo match now let's just see how well the Intel Arc A770 does in this game. Impossible. Too late to choose an epitaph. What up everyone, so in this one I'm playing Rocket League. I'll be using the i5-12400F paired up with the Intel Arc A770. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So playing at full screen, 2160p, also known as 4K resolution, and I am actually playing on the second to highest setting. So in Rocket League, quality settings are the second to highest, and of course frame rate's uncapped because I want to see just how high it can get. Now you'll see that a lot of these boxes aren't check marked. That's what the game does when you go to quality settings. So again, second to best, not too bad. I mean, definitely more than playable. So that's what I'm playing with there. So let's go ahead and just back up. And of course, as always, you jump into a good old three on three casual match. And let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the Intel Arc A770. Hey there my fellow gamers, so in this one I'm playing good old Apex Legends. I'm using the i5-12400F paired up with the Intel Arc A770. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen, 2160p, also known as 4K resolution. Of course V-Sync's off because we definitely want to see how many frames per second I can get. and. We're playing on high settings. So you can see on the screen that everything's turned up to high. You know, the uh, lighting, the shadows is enabled. So just about the highest settings you can get in Apex Legends. You know, the great thing about this game is the graphic settings are quite simple and there's not a whole lot of customization. It's probably why it's as popular as it is. So, okay, so let's go ahead and ready up. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the Intel Arc A770. What up my fellow gamers? In this one I'm playing Destiny 2. I'll be using the Intel Arc A770 paired up with the i5-12400F. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphic settings, see what I'm playing with here. So playing at full screen, 2160p, 4K resolution. Playing on high settings, so in Destiny 2, these are the second to best settings that you can get. So you can see on the screen kind of what high settings look like. Render resolution is at 100%. So we are playing at a true 4K. Now the thing with Destiny 2 is there definitely is some customization. So you can see on the screen there. So you definitely can play around, but you know, I always prefer just to go with the presets there. So that's what I'm playing with there. So not too much to see so okay with that out of the way let's go ahead and open up the director of course as always head down to the cosmodrome launch 
And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. Hello there my fellow gamer. So in this one I'm playing Dead by Daylight. I'll be using the i5 12400F paired up with the Intel Arc A770. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings. See what I'm playing with here. Playing on medium settings. So there it is. I mean medium settings are medium settings. Playing at 2160p 4K resolution. Of course no V-Sync because we want to see how many frames Per second I can get but of course the developers have limit the game to 120 frames a second and you can get around it but you do have to do some hacking and illegal stuff and I don't suggest that so that's what I'm playing with there so alright as always let's just go ahead and just jump into a good old match here and I'm just gonna see how many frames per second I can get using the Intel Arc A77 Hey there my fellow gamers, so in this one I'm playing Lost Star, I'll be using the Intel Arc A770 paired up with the Intel i5-12400F, so let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here, so playing at full screen, 2160p, 4K resolution, or playing on high settings, so in Lost Ark, these are the second to best settings you can get, not quite the best, but you can see a lot of things are still checkmarked in the post-processing FX settings, but uh, overall not too bad. I mean, the true 4K resolution, so not much more to see there. So let's go ahead and just launch in the game. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using the Intel Arc A770.